Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We're going to play as Isaac again, but this should be a universal item pools run. I tested it, I walked into the item room, it wasn't uh, this item room because it's going to be a different seed, but I walked into the item room, the item room had 9 volt in it, I don't believe that can happen just right off the bat, unless universal item pools is on, so we'll see. Bomb bag is an interesting one. I think I'm going to re-roll it because we're so early on. And sure, I'll take Mom's Eye, which is not the best item in the game, but a Tears Upgrade is a Tears Upgrade a Tears Upgrade, right? I'll, I'll take that over the Bomb Bag. Although, you know, getting bombs is not the worst thing in the world. If it's not a Universal Item Pools run, I sincerely apologize again, but I did like, you know, 15 minutes of off-camera testing to check the item rooms and the boss rooms and stuff like that since I've loaded it up, and uh, it, it's looked fine. So hopefully it ends up being A-OK. -okay. We don't have a reroll available just yet, so uh, it's possible that we'll just get whatever from the Widow. Um, but it's also possible that we'll just get an item that I don't necessarily want. It's a thing like boss room items. I think of it the capability of being a lot better on a universal item pools run, but also the uh, probability of being a lot worse because the odds of you getting an HP upgrade have gone from like, you know, 1 in 3 or 2 in 5 on a, a boss room to like, you know, 10 in 100 or something like that. Oh my god, I'm getting steamrolled here. I probably should have been hit by that spider as well. Um, certainly uh, would not earn a deal with the devil on this floor. Luckily, that's not even in the cards to begin with, so that's A-OK. -okay. Hopefully, we end up snagging an awesome upgrade here. Or at least uh, another room with some competition in it, so I can at least have the possibility to get an awesome reroll. Ah, that's actually just an HP upgrade. That both scares me and makes me feel good. Uh, scares me because that's just an item that could normally drop. Makes me feel good because uh, we're going to need that HP. Again, I, I tested it. I don't know what to tell you. Game's messed, man. I'm, I'm doing my best. The same process every single time, uh, yet somehow different results. It's like the opposite of that Albert Einstein quote. It's hard out here for a pimp. That was the or original quote. The, the opposite would obviously be it's easy out here for a pimp. Which honestly, he's apparently a pretty smart guy, so I wouldn't be surprised. Tears Down is not really what I was hoping for from my... Uh, first pill there, but at least we know that it's part of the rotation. It's alright. Wouldn't it be sweet if there was the opportunity to, like, randomize uh, pill effects? Not just that, like, every time you took a pill it would be different, but that the pills could give you different things than they normally do. Like, a pill could give you, like, a key or something like that, or a, a pill could, like, teleport you to the boss room. I guess it can buy a telepills, but anyway. Just something to think about. I'm sure it can be implemented better than I've explained. Um, but hopefully you at least catch where I'm coming from on a you know, an ex not as existential, conceptual level. Can we, like, a strike conceive from our vocabulary? Because I always hear people talking about it, and it's it's my own hang-up, but I can't not laugh. Whenever someone says, I've conceived of an idea, you're just like, that's, that's funny, who's the father? Uh, or who's the mother, I guess. Anyway, because conceive is what people say when they're talking about, like, having a child. Oh, you were conceived in the bathroom, Ryan, at the... You know, Arby's in Pensacola, Florida. That's not true. I, as far as I know, my parents have never even been to Pensacola, Florida. If anything, it was probably a Burger King in uh, in Burlington or Oshawa. Anyway, I'm just going to fight Pin for the uh, 350th time. Actually, probably a little bit less. Pin's a little bit more of a rare boss, and he only showed up later. So, uh, he showed up in Wrath of the Lamb. So, I probably fought Pin, you know, 200, 250 times. Maybe somewhere in that vicinity. That being said, I very much like fighting Pin. The more it can happen, the, the better I would feel. We'll see if uh, maybe we get some confirmation of Universal Item Pools or not. The deal with the Devil Room is usually a very good indicator, because that has a, a very small pool of items. But unfortunately, I took some damage being a big old dummy, so we may not even get the opportunity to check out the deal with the Devil. And we don't, and we get Pageant Boy, which is the ultimate reroll. And when we rerolled it, we got meat. So... Sincerely, I apologize. Next time we'll just do random character because apparently I am incapable of making um, Universal item pools work for me anymore, but that's okay. We'll have fun here regardless. We've gotten some interesting and good items. Mom's contact. Sorry, not mom's contact. Mom's eye is a weird one uh, That doesn't show up very often and meat is just a great item So I'm stoked for that and we don't have a deal with the devil item on the second floor, which is a little bit of a rarity dare we Dare we I don't think so. I think if I had had the opportunity to pick up um some other guppy items, or if I have the opportunity to pick up some other guppy items on this floor, that might change things. But as of right now, I'm not really interested in picking up nine lives and getting myself killed in all likelihood. So, all right, you come down here. This is all right, we can do this. You're dead and you're dead. Those extra bombs might be useful to get to a secret room. That secret room could grant me enough money to gain access to the shop, or they could get me nothing at all. I'm actually gonna use one here just to destroy that nub uh, and make sure that they didn't take damage on the way out. Cancer is a great trinket. 
before we go, oh, before we open these, then I will use a uh, two of spades to give me access to uh, even more keys than I would otherwise have. Oh, I should be going to these rooms like after using the D6 so I can get more rerolls, but. Since we're on the seller part two, rerolls are already like a, a one or a two sum game, basically. So I don't mind uh, taking a little bit of time here and uh, playing a little bit inefficiently. I'm actually like really frustrated. I'm not letting it show. Are you serious? Like I took damage because he spawned right on top of me. Um, I'm not letting it show, but I'm really frustrated that universal item pools is not working because I was looking forward to having that run. And I understand this is like three Isaac runs in a row. A lot of people are into that. Some people aren't. I apologize either way. Game Kid is more or less worthless for us right now, except as a reroll pedestal. But uh, I, I guess I was trying to like do the math in my head about it, like with universal item pools, what's better? Like, should I reroll this or reroll nine lives? That eh, doesn't really matter. I think I'll look for the secret room with four bombs and twelve keys. The shop would be awesome if I could actually get to it. Uh, there's still a few different locations where it could possibly be here. Six cents is not enough. If I had seven, since I have 12 keys, I might consider it. And eh, we just have the Ankh. If I had known this existed, I probably... Well, we have seven cents now. If I would known that the Ankh existed, I probably would have saved my reroll for that. There's a chance we get exceptionally lucky, but uh, either way, you know, one key out of 12 from the second floor is not a major loss, so I don't feel compelled to absolutely 100% buy something from the shop. Getting the Ankh is not a bad deal. It's not a great deal, but it's not a bad deal either. And uh, we don't really want to buy anything else. I don't think it's worth paying another three cents for a key when I have 11 already. So we're in a weird position. We have gotten two HP upgrades. One of them being meat, which is great. We've gotten a tears upgrade and a tears downgrade. Uh, we got a deal with the devil. No, we didn't get a deal with the devil. We had nine lives, which we passed up. We had two spacebar items, which we passed up. And we didn't get anything from the shop. I'd say we're about at a wash right now. Uh, as far as Isaac runs go. Mr. Boom is, uh, you know, not garbage, but pretty bad. Let's be honest. I will, uh, I guess I'll open the shop, assuming that is a shop, it could be a library right next to me, and we'll figure out where to go from there. Hopefully there's a half price item. There's not, there is the ladder. Uh, which one of these is more re-rollable? Since we don't have universal item pools, much to my chagrin, there's a good case to be made for re-rolling the ladder, even though it's a passive, uh, because it actually would allow me to possibly access the compass. I am taking some seriously dumb damage. Oh, unlimited keys is actually great. Protects out of the key investment that we already have. Now, just take out the conga liners and... Oh, neutral fly, like, deked in like Pavel Datsuk. Fucked me pretty hard there. We can, I mean, the ladder would allow us to get some stuff, don't get me wrong. We've teleported to a deal with the angel. That's so frustrating because I already have, um... Or I don't have a reroll available, so hopefully we can just go back to that kind of shitty. Uh, there is a mob trap room which I can't go to because my health is bad. I'm throwing a little bit here, but that's okay. We can pull it back. You just gotta be smart about it. And probably get a little bit lucky. Uh, I don't think the ladder is worthwhile, but Mr. Boom is like... I think it's better to reroll Mr. Boom because it's a passive. Or sorry, because we can get a passive. And the PhD gives us better pills. That's an okay passive that I'm willing to take. I can now go to this mob trap room up here and maybe snag another item. Hopefully there's a golden chest in there so we have some good opportunities. Or just an item room pedestal would be fine as well. And now if we get enough money... Uh, now if we get enough money, I can actually focus on rerolling the ladder and hopefully getting the compass or a map or uh, any anything that gives us better chance of using the D6 more often. Uh, any of those would be beautiful. Nuns have it, 9-volt battery, compass, map, that's about it. But those are five items out of like a possible nine or something like that. So our odds are pretty good, especially if we can get uh, rerolls. But you know, this is a... Oh, I picked that up by accident and got hit. Uh, this is a, a double-edged sword because, you know, we're not only needing to pick up uh, more rerolls to reroll the, uh, the ladder and then get a little bit lucky. We also need to get enough money to buy it, and we're not quite there yet. And we only have two bombs. So, uh, I, before I killed that thing, I should have picked up the Cancer Trinket, but that's okay. I'm Don't get me wrong, I, I'm not playing very well right now. I'm taking a lot of dumb damage, especially on flies, which are enemies that I should not be uh, consistently being hurt by. Seriously, just take your time here. But, uh, you know, it's still very early on, and we're unlikely to be super punished for what we're going through right now, so that's fine. We picked up another penny. Was it worth it? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna resist the urge to quote Missy Elliott, and we'll move on to the right side. God, I hate Curse of Blindness. Anything that makes the floor harder, I'm totally fine with. Just don't fuck with my, like, perception of where I am on the floor. I get very confused very easily, and that's a personal problem, but seriously... The game could just like meet me halfway or allow me to at least see where the fuck halfway is. I would be forever grateful. Um, it's okay. 
Just be cool and don't. Oh my fucking god. Flies and neutral flies have been just my fucking Mount Everest here. Well, we are at 14 cents, which means in all likelihood we will get another. Oh, uh, well, we'll definitely get another reroll, but we'll get the opportunity to. Uh, actually buy that and in fact now 100% guaranteed we got a speed upgrade pill by way of the PhD and what I like about that is that it gave us a second to try to figure out what it was so we're gonna reroll the ladder and this could be a very big reroll or a very disappointing one I'm gonna take it I think it's good enough uh, with the map we'll be able to find secret rooms moving forward in the game so you know we spent 15 cents we'll get more than 15 cents back in value just from having the map financially beyond uh, the obvious uh, you know, benefits of being able to see where you're going on maps that are not, you know, Curse of Blindness anyway. I can't really express to you how happy I am to be fighting not, uh, not Super Rat. Because we've been fighting Super Rat so often lately, and especially fairly early on in the game. He's a real pain in the wrath, if you know what I mean. Luckily, uh, his counterpart is fairly easy. I don't think we're going to get another reroll. I think we're at basically at the end of the floor here. And that's fine. Um, kind of sucks in case we get a deal with the devil. But we know that there's a deal with the angel. So it sucks even harder, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe we'll fight Krampus somehow? I mean, a deal with the angels already spawned on this floor, as we know. So I guess that's not possible. But, alright, whatever. Thank God we got one speed upgrade. Blighted Ovum is a, a very easy fight that I just took damage on because I'm an idiot. That's okay, though. Now, I'm, like, doing the worst dodges of all time here. I'm actually possibly going to die against Blighted Ovum, and that scares the shit out of me, because that's not, like, my skill is the problem here. It's not the game uh, giving me bad items. It's just really a poor fight, and I have to take a Crystal Ball, unfortunately, or not Crystal Ball, I have to take uh, the 8 Ball. So we'll head down to the next floor. I'm going to take some water and just relax for a second. This should be fine. We should be in a totally okay position, but I am throwing just a little bit. So we'll open up our secret room. Secret room contains 99 bombs. That is a huge pickup. Now we can use bombs offensively basically as much as we want. Probably won't start doing that on, uh, except on rooms like this, uh, where, you know, it's it's maybe a little bit more warranted. Although I, <laughs> okay, we'll use two bombs here. Uh, and I say it's more warranted here because, wow, I'm bad. I'm also like not doing as much damage as I'd like to be, but sincerely that should not be a, a huge excuse at the at the moment. I can't kill them. I, I just can't kill them. You're in the ooze state. Get fucked! Are you serious? One of them died somehow. Thank you for solving the riddle of the Sphinx that had three bombs couldn't do for me. My god, uh, this is not going well. Good item room, good shop coming up, please. Red chest. Yes. We have good keys. Guppy's tail is fine. Uh, a bombs or key would be an interesting value proposition right now. Would I take it? Depends how many, uh... Guppy's tails we'd have showing up. In fact, or it depends how many golden chests I guess we'd have showing up. But um, I probably would because golden chests have the potential to pay out with bombs anyway. So uh, as if we had 99 keys, that would probably mean good things for our bomb supply as well. Not we, obviously we probably wouldn't have 99 of them, but it would be okay. Magnets not worth our time. Kamikazes even worse. Just don't die on Caves Part Two because with with Pyro now, I actually have a very decent chance of making some good stuff happen. We'll see what this pill is. Could be full health. Could be bombs or key. It's full health. That's extremely nice to have from like a just, I know I'm comfortable now situation. Hopefully we don't have to use it until later and just already it existing feels like a huge load off my shoulders. So, uh, I'm going to try to ignore the weird sexual connotations of that idiom and we'll just wait for this guy to pop up and he should be dead and you should be next. And we'll just start taking things a little bit more methodically. Stop playing so badly. You mad because I'm bad? Yeah, you know. I can understand why people would be mad that I'm bad after playing so much. With 96 of these bad boys, I think uh, one bomb for one cent is actually a pretty okay trade. We've already been to our secret room. Yeah, we got Pyro. Okay, right. I remember now. The item that I said was going to change the way we're playing the game. Uh, easy to lose your short-term memory in Isaac sometimes because the game moves very, very quickly. It's okay. That'll kill you. And with two more dudes remaining... We could go straight to our boss room. In fact, I don't think it's the worst decision in the world. Range upgrade. We'll talk about that. First things first. Uh, we, we have other uh, priorities when it comes to re-rolling. And, you know, a free or for one key, getting a range upgrade is pretty okay. But, 
Okay, that almost went terribly. I should stop, like, hemorrhaging so many bombs. Oh, this might work. It did. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Like, a range upgrade for a key is pretty good, but obviously, if there's rerolls available, I would love to make use of them. And this full health pill just existing feels real nice. We could earn a deal with the angel. Remember, we've already taken a deal with the angel, which means that, uh, that you know, that precedent is set. I'm not sure if that gives us a better chance of getting deals with the angel in the future. I don't see why not, though. If I get hit one more time. In fact, you know, I hate to do this, but I may use this full health pill, like, right now. Just in case one of these guys would do uh, full heart damage to me. I don't know if that's actually possible, but I'm very scared of it. So, like, if the eye hits me, does that do a full heart of damage? I doubt it, but... Okay, we, we've lived, and that's fine. And because we have uh, the PhD, I feel very good about doing this. So we know that there's a full health pill in here. Bombs are key. Interesting. Speed up. We'll definitely take it. Uh, what is this? Tears up. We'll take it. Um, okay, so we have bombs are key. We're not going to need that on this floor. We might want to save it till the next floor, at least. Uh, and there's a reroll back here, but it's kamikaze, so that's what we're going to do. There's a lot of fun yet to happen on this floor. I think we've, we've got a few potential... Uh, great situations awaiting us. Portable slot is interesting, but mostly just interesting to put down and then run away from and never touch it again. So, uh, we'll go far left here. I do want to reroll that range upgrade if possible, but the item room is our number one priority. That was really dumb of me. Let's put this down again. Don't get hit. Alright, I really thought that would create a bridge for me, but it didn't. That's okay. We've now found ourselves in permanent purgatory. I've used, like, 15 bombs on this floor, which is nuts, but... Like, my damage is... Am I crazy? Am I just imagining this, or is my damage, like, truly awful? I feel like it's really, really bad. And I can't seem to do damage to anybody else. But that's partly be just because of the way I'm playing, which I imagine to watch is probably, like, exceptionally frustrating right now. And I, it's like, sincerely do apologize for that, but look at, like, I can't... Like, one cube of meat would make this fly situation go away. You're dead. I can't do anything with that. I don't hold out a lot of hope for my own success here, which is fucked up because we actually have an okay base for things. Did Pyro spoil me? Am I now, like, ruined forever? Because now I expect to use bombs for all combat? I don't know. We'll see, anyway. More bombs is good. Even though it shouldn't be necessary, it unfortunately kind of is. Here we go. That was exceptional. Not necessary, but, you know, we're not going to need 86 bombs or 86 keys in all likelihood, so... Uh, we do have a reroll. Are we going to get one more? Probably not. Uh, almost certainly not, because there is a uh, shop over here. That shop may, though, contain a greed in it, which we could fight very easily with bombs. I think we end up taking the full health pill with us and forgetting about bombs or key, or we could take a bombs or key pill down with us. I picked up a Spelunker's hat completely by accident, but I'm, I'm actually glad that we got it. Because it can help me find the second secret room, I think, anyway. We may have to use the full health pill on this floor. Uh, I just walked into the Spelunker's hat by accident, but it's okay. We don't have x-ray goggles, so... I would have picked it up regardless. There's our second secret room. I'm not gonna blow that up just yet. I'm gonna wait just in case it's an eternal heart. I don't want to waste a bomb now. We'll resist the temptation. This should be uh, easy kill. One enemy remaining. No rerolls come... Up. Oh, well, we'll see. Hey! Free HP upgrade is awesome. I had a feeling we'd be fighting greed, and that feeling has come to fruition here. Oh, I shot that bomb away like a dumb idiot trying to get more damage done to him. Oh my god, I am absolutely god-awful at dodging on this run. That's okay, though, because we can maybe just get enough HP to not have it matter. Steam Sail, we have to take, basically, because there's no way we can reroll it. And we'll have... Oh, there was one way we could reroll it, but I'll probably rather reroll... Um the range upgrade, because the steam sale kind of synergizes nicely with the fact that we have very little money right now. And now we're getting into the position where, with Guppy's tail, we're getting an awful lot of uh, golden chests. Maybe it would be better beneficial to have 86 keys instead of 5 keys, and you know, 5 bombs instead of 86 bombs. I think maybe that's the direction I'm going to go with, so I'll, I'll probably just pop the full health pill on this floor and then take a... Actually, no, it's best if we just use bombs or key and then take uh, the full health pill down with us, I think, and hope that we don't run out of bombs in the future. It's a weird run. I, I feel like I'm in a weird, like, mentally foggy place right now. It's an interesting choice, but I think cancer is probably a better trinket for now. We will have a reroll for the range upgrade. And... Yeah, I think that's smart because an HP upgrade would be amazing. Tears upgrade would be fine. We get a skinny odd mushroom. It's a great pickup. I like that a lot. 
And we have one final room here. Oh, our rate of fire is so good now. Okay, so this alleviates one of my concerns, which was, uh, like, DPS. Feels a little bit better now. It's not, uh, superb. We, there's still items that we could get that would improve it. Probably should have waited until I used bombs or key for that. Uh, but this is fine. This feels much better. Getting skinny on mushroom is kind of a coup there. And we go down to the next floor. Okay, it's Necropolis XL, so it's our last shop. I, I feel kind of shitty about taking the Steam Sale now, but whatever. Steam Sale is kind of a weird item to begin with, but at least we didn't pay money for it. We got something out of that greed fight. Yeah, that should not have taken as long as it did. Damage upgrades at this point would be very, very nice. Because as you can see, you know, we're, we're able to hit enemies, but we're not really able to do very much damage to them, which is a little frustrating. And will be terrible for Isaac and Blue Baby fights in the future. There we go. Enough money to make our last shop worthwhile. Probably. Unless it has super greed in it, which is, you know, very much plausible. So we kill the nubs first. Always kill, if possible, the enemies that generate enemies before the other enemies. More red hearts is great. And unlimited keys is fine. It, it makes no difference in all likelihood, but sure, I'm, I'm glad we have it. At least we'll save some... If we end up getting a bombs or key pill again, at least this saves us some bombs, technically. Or saves us some keys. I'm trying to run it through in my head right now. I don't know. It saves us something. That's the important part. We will take our spirit heart right off the bat. And the reason we're doing so is because I am feeling a little bit wary about my health. And the longer I can go without using the full health pill, the more valuable it becomes. If I can use this full health pill to get basically a free uh, doubling of my health on the Isaac or Blue Baby fight, that's extremely important. Way more important than using it uh, on this floor. So, this could be like a double... Uh, this is interesting. We'll talk about that judgment in a second. I was thinking that maybe this could be a double uh, item area, but it's not. This could easily end up being where we use our uh, full health pill. So just play it cool, and you know, the, the longer this room goes on, the easier it gets. Should be very easy now. A little bit more. Oh, okay. That was very poor damage for me to take. But we're alive, and we get homing bombs, which is a reroll pedestal if I've ever seen one. Followed by a speed plus damage upgrade, which is awesome. So we're just going to finish it. Ooh, no we're not. We're going to use one key to get this free red heart. And is it possible that against all odds, and you know, for once I mean against all odds as in I'm playing terribly. Is it possible against all odds for us to win this run in spite of my terrible dodging? Yes, absolutely. We're, we're one sacred heart away from winning at basically all times on any run. Especially with a decent amount of HP and a full health pill. But I'm not very proud of my performance here, but we might end up getting carried anyway. It's, it's Dota all over again. Now, that if that was a golden chest, I would have loved it forever, but sadly it wasn't. So we'll come back around this way. Oh, good. I, I love this room, as you know. We got a small rock, which is actually great. Uh, actually compensates for that speed upgrade pill that I got earlier. Not pill, sorry. We did get a speed upgrade pill earlier, but it compensates for the speed upgrade part of that uh, syringe that I just got, which I don't really want, but was okay with. Uh, now we'll be at a little bit more of a normal speed, and our damage will increase, which is extremely important. And more bombs! Also good. Okay, so everything's coming up Millhouse. I'm really glad I went to that room. Let's check out the uh, far left here. This appears to not be the boss room. Boss room looks like it's going to be bottom left. Alright, extra damage on our tiers, extra rate of fire on our tiers. This is very good. This is very, very good, and we might be able to succeed in spite of my own mediocrity. Which is basically just my motto for life, uh, but... Let's ignore that uh, can of worms. Thank you very much for that, by the way. Um, what's fucked up is that the blue spikes can totally still go over that uh, gap, I think. Unless maybe I just am mistaken and thought that was the case because I've seen them go over the bridge that gets created before. That's probably more along the lines of what happened. Not a great tinted rock for us in, in our current situation. That's fine, though. Now, oh, be cool, be cool. We're fine. Minor problems, don't let it escalate. More damage upgrades. Oh, I'm craving the damage upgrades. I got a taste for it, and now I'm addicted. Uh, should just get to the terminal as soon as possible. It's like the Tom Hanks movie. Like, seriously, it's starting in 10 minutes. We don't want to miss the previews for Zoro Unmasked. Was that the... No. What was the sequel to The Legend of Zoro? I can't remember. I rewatched The Legend of Zoro recently. You know, the Antonio Banderas uh, Zoro movie. That's a movie that is actually, like, totally okay. The Mask of Zoro. The Mask of Zoro was the first one, actually, I think. Uh, oh, Two of Hearts is so good here. Um, yeah, that's a movie that I think is totally okay. I've talked a lot about negative movies before. I took Attack Fly there, even though we had uh, some rerolls available just because, basically. Um, but I, I sincerely think The Mask of Zoro is actually pretty good. Let's go back and reroll. Um, 
or not reroll, but play this judgment and maybe reroll whatever he puts out. Having that two of hearts card is insanely important. Uh, we might get lucky and maybe get another HP upgrade here, or maybe get a huge uh, play like a compass or something like that. Don't blow him up by accident. I thought maybe I put that bomb a little too close for comfort. So we can play until we get down to about 7 cents and still feel comfortable. Actually, I could probably play him to, to, down to 17 and still feel comfortable. Alright, getting Mom's Purse is an extraordinary pickup there. That is uh, obviously going to give us the ability to take Cancer with us in the future, along with Polaroid. So, I think we're, um, you know, in the process of kind of getting carried right now. This floor has been very good to me. And we still have a shop remaining. If we can get the compass or anything that gives us more rerolls, uh, I'll be an extremely happy camper. Probably don't deserve this win, and I know that always irritates some people. And we haven't won yet, but uh, so be it, right? Sometimes you get carried in Isaac when you play poorly. Sometimes you play well and you uh, can't win regardless because you just got uh, poor pickups. Or the, uh, the troll engine kind of pooped on you, but sure, this is fine. And it's very nice to be in a position where we've already uh, used both item rooms. So we don't really need to worry about our reroll situation anymore. We can just kind of focus on... Uh, you know, fighting the enemies, not worrying too much about strategy and tactics, just focusing on not getting hit. Now, these, uh, Isaac and Blue Baby fights, assuming we make it that far, are gonna be some seriously, like, knockdown, drag out affairs, because we are attacking so fucking quickly that we are gonna have to, especially with zero orbitals, I, I'm basically just gonna have to weather the storm. We're gonna have to, we're need, we're, why can't I speak English? We're going to need to stack up HP, or, like, get a Celtic Cross, or I don't even know, Guppy's Paw. Uh, oh, seriously? That's so unfortunate. And, uh, the reason I say that is, like, legitimately, I don't think I can dodge the shots at the speed that Isaac will be throwing them out. So, I, I don't think it's possible. It might be possible. I don't think it's plausible, let's put it that way, even for a very high-skilled Isaac player, uh, to dodge the shots that come out with no orbitals, with, uh, Cancer and Skinny Odd Mushroom. Maybe it's been done. If you can show me somebody doing that, uh, and not taking any damage, then I will, uh, and, and not using a, a scum tactic like a crazy long book of shadows or something like that. Not that that's a scum tactic, I would use it as well, but I'm just saying, like, if you can show me someone legitimately dodging that stuff, I, I would be very impressed with their play. That's what you'd get out of that. I'm not going to pay you money for that, but uh, I would be very impressed. I could take the fish head into the boss fight, but, you know, people would be like, well, ideally you take the fish head into the boss fight. Yes, but it does convey a mathematical chance that I will forget to lose the fish head and as a result will end up taking that with me instead of cancer which would be uh, more detriment than I'd gain from having the fish head for a couple of rooms. Alright, having one orbital is gonna be quite nice here. I'm actually like, I, I would love to get a sacred heart or something like that of course, or a pentagram, uh, but getting a single cube of meat even this late in the game feels fine as well. Anything that can block some shots that come in on those late game fights. I have more than enough speed necessary to get away from war. Mom fight might be a little annoying. Whatever. I could re-roll the cube of meat, actually, because the, the mom fight will uh, bring up another item, which means that the item pool that the meat is pulled from would actually be not just, you know, the Horseman of the Apocalypse item pool, which is exclusively cubes of meat. Which means that, um, you know, I could have done that, but I chose not to, and I chose not to because I think it is, uh, it's nice for me to have an orbital. The mom fight has actually turned out to be very easy. I don't know why I thought it was going to be difficult. Now, just don't stand in the center as mom dies. There we go. That was totally easy. We're going to reroll the range upgrade for sure. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sure, we'll, um, we'll ignore Cat of Nine Tails, I guess, and head it down to the next floor. We got everything? I think we got everything. This will be interesting. We're, we're low on HP. It's another XL floor. So I'm going to the secret room, and then I'm going to take a quick look at the map and see if I was a boss room in Isaac, where would I be? I'm thinking, like, bottom, or it's, it's more like middle left. If I was a boss room in Isaac, a double boss room, I would be middle left right now. Uh, we already have the best trinkets in the game. There's something to be said for playing to get as many, um, as many spirit hearts as possible, but that's not really my style. And on a run like this, I feel like we've already got, uh, some advantages. Let's keep it exciting. So, th I definitely went to the right room here. We're gonna get another tiers upgrade, which is extremely important, but also very daunting when it comes to those Blue Baby and Isaac fights. And I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think it's completely plausible that I chose correctly. I think this could be the boss room. If not, it could be bottom right. That would be my next guess. And after that, it's kind of a crapshoot. Oh, so I was incorrect. It's, it did seem, as much as I wanted to be optimistic, it did seem a little close. But maybe I thought that was just like, I'm chalking that up to me going very quickly because I'm having a good run from a damage standpoint. It's possible to be upper left as well, uh, but I don't think it is. I think it's going to be kind of lower 
right or lower middle. But we might as well check where we are right now because we're there already. So if we get lucky and end up finding the boss, life's good. So again, uh, keeping this full health pill is extremely important. If we can save this for the Isaac fight, I will be uh, a very, very happy man. I don't necessarily like the odds of that happening. But it's, uh, it's beyond a theoretical possibility. The more damage I take on fights like this, the stupider I feel. Yeah, especially that one. Um, one of you has to die, though. We could get uh, the HP upgrade here. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. That's exceptionally lucky, getting carried again. As is usual, um, that gives me not only full health again, but also an extra HP moving forward, which is still very valuable. So, damage is good. Health's getting better all the time. We will get one more item room. Uh, well, not one more item room, but one more item from a boss. We will not get any deal with the devil or angel unless I manage to teleport out of the room somehow. This is also not where we want to go, but I'm glad I went here because I got that uh, mini boss to save my life, basically. And as we come over here, I am more perturbed, shall I say, by what I see. All right, so pop out a little bit. If we can just take out one. You know, it's like the heart rooms. Once you take out one, things start getting a little bit easier. You open up a seam, and then you uh, just kind of pull at the thread until you can get them all down. There we go. Golden chest is not here. I don't know why I started my phrase like that. That money may or may not be valuable. You know, there is also the possibility of finding a curse room or finding a library or uh, an arcade, maybe. XL floors do count as even floors, I believe. Um, so, you know, we, we definitely came into this floor with more than five cents. I believe, unless I made a terrible miscalculation somewhere. Tammy's head, you know, it's okay. It's a reroll and a half. Shoop the Whoop is the same. I just wanted to see if the boss was over here. I guess I could have told you that it wasn't to begin with. Uh, but whatever. We've gone through this. You know what I need or would like is the ability to fly. Probably should just let Cuban Meat do the dirty work here, huh? That is... I'm just going to wait for it. Bad gas, so we'll just use it. Almost use the full health pill by accident. That would have been, uh, you know, pretty embarrassing and terrible. I was just checking to see if maybe there was a room available more quickly that I could generate a D6 reroll from. So, uh, boss room basically has to be bottom middle, which is a little scary because it's a, it's a long trip to get back there, or to get down there for the first time, I should say. We probably shouldn't run into too much trouble with bad enemies, but uh, no, I really thought we'd be able to kill him with attack fly. Probably shouldn't run into too much trouble with uh, bad rooms, but you know, even slowly getting your health eroded is, is dangerous, of course. As you can see, like I probably shouldn't have taken damage there, but a few instances of I probably shouldn't have taken damage there can very quickly become, oh, I died and I'm an idiot. But I do think we still have a, a decent chance of pulling this one out, much to my surprise. Now we're gonna take spacebar, shoot the whoop, and reroll it. Turn it into a unicorn horn. This is like all of the spacebar items that I'm like, yeah, you know, they have their place, but their place is not here. So, uh, we're gonna go right and down. We still have at least another 10-ish rooms to get there. Hey, what time does uh, Sean Connery get to uh, Wimbledon Center Court? Tennish. That's, uh, I think I botched the intro to that punchline pretty bad, but I nailed the punchline itself, and that's the important part. Bombs are key. Probably not. Uh, I think we're, you know, at this point, actually, maybe it's a good idea, but whatever. Uh, with the Unicorn Horn, we could play the uh, Blood Bank a few times. That's a very smart play, but also a play that is not very smart for a very lazy man, because it'll uh, impact his happiness in an adverse way. Really shouldn't have played chicken with that guy. That was foolish of me. We could try to get a blood bag, but I think the full health pill is not worthwhile just to get a little speed and HP. I think it's much better used to be like, hey, here's seven extra hearts, or six and a half extra hearts. So we reroll the unicorn horn. At least we're taking items out of the item pool so we don't see them later. Pills are actually really good for us. That's another bombs are key, uh, but we can't really take it with us, and I think that the D6 is still better, so we'll continue our kind of laborious march to the end of the womb here. I think we'll be able to do okay, but, uh, you know, you can always do better, right? You can always do better. That's actually not really the ethos that I live my life by. The ethos that I live my life by is like, hey, good enough! <laughs> As you have probably noticed. And I hope a lot of people out there can relate to that. Because it's exhausting, man. I, I have nothing but respect for perfectionists. But at the same time, like, I get tired of hearing about their problems. 
like, oh, I can't get three million on Spelunky because the seed's not right. I'm like, man, just had sit on the porch, have a beer. Life's too short to worry about getting three million in Spelunky. Oh, I gotta, you know, if I work my ass off, I can get an 11% raise next year and maybe move up to vice president. Sit on the beer, have a porch, man, play some Spelunky. Life's too short to worry about uh, becoming the vice president. Oh, actually, you make a lot of, okay, sure, yeah. That's really great that you can provide for your kids. And Yeah, I know, I was kind of short-sighted in my judgment earlier. I don't mean it like that. Okay, so let's come back here. Uh, we probably should get a good item here. This is like the fifth reroll. I'm just gonna choose to ignore that that happened, uh, and we'll uh, we'll just leave, basically. We got two bombs or key pills. I don't even know what I would do with those. I still like having 94 keys, and I think nine bombs is enough. That was the name of that sitcom, remember? Nine is enough, and then in parentheses it had uh, bombs. I think six simple rules for dating my teenage bombs. I think was the uh, the pseudo sequel. The pseudo sequel to six simple rules. Can that be? Yeah, I'm gonna put that on my epitaph, I think. The pseudo-sequel to Six Simple Rules. At the Bon... J John Bon Jovi School for uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Dojo. Anyway. That, if you don't watch the NLSS, that is gonna seem like I have gone out of my damn mind. So with two full health pills, here's what we're gonna do now. This is what I was waiting for, is a second full health pill to show up. Now we go into the curse room. Then the curse room has opened up its own can of worms. Sure, I'll take another speed upgrade. I don't care at this point. Uh... If only there was like a half red heart somewhere, but because we have two full health pills now, I'm gonna come back, we're gonna play the blood bank a couple times, maybe get very lucky. Don't accidentally kill yourself, although I do have the Ankh, weirdly enough. And maybe we'll play it once more. There you go. I don't know why would I play it once more, that's actually kind of dumb. Uh, we're coming, this should be our last reroll for the uh, speed upgrade is what it is now, but it started as Tammy's head. Having this next full health pill is very important. I really thought maybe we'd get a better payout. We got one speed upgrade for that, basically. Which is not a, a good payout at all. Bad gas, also pretty terrible. Okay, let's come back and, uh... This is the last time I'm doing this, because it's becoming a goddamn nightmare right now. Like, 10% of this video has been backtracking, re-rolling this one single item. Speaking of which, I'm gonna take a second, rehydrate a little bit, soothe my ailing vocal cords. Okay. So... We're gonna come back and re-roll the speed upgrade. And if I have to leave it, I have to leave it. I'm not gonna be salty if I end up leaving a speed upgrade either, because I'd rather not have it than have it. Sure, fuck it, the quarter. Great. Money equals power shows up, we're in the clear, but, uh, you know, whatever. Is there anything there that I, that would have been better to pick up than the quarter? No? <laughs> because we're gonna keep rolling with the D6, it was all spacebar items and then a speed upgrade in the quarter. You could maybe make an argument that the pills could be exceptionally good for us, given that uh, full health pills in the rotation. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it's that fun, though. Did I accidentally leave the full health pill in the curse room? If so, I'm a big dummy. I don't think I did, though. I didn't. Okay. So we're two rooms away from getting to the boss room. That room has nothing in it, and we have ten bombs, and I want to be at a half-heart interval. So the, there were a lot of things working in that favor that made me take that decision. Or working in the favor of that that made me take that decision. We got a fight, and then uh, Mom's Heart. Like a nondescript boss fight, and then Mom's Heart. Not Conquest is my ideal uh, fight here. Not Conquest. Death is fine. If we fight Death, I can get a second cube of meat, do a little bit more DPS. Just not Conquest. Oh, that damage. So it's Conquest. Um, I have a weird pseudo-psychic connection to Isaac lately that allows me to, you know, tell the game what I don't want and then will that into existence, unfortunately. Should have said, let's not fight Skolex. It's like, I feel like it's been so long since I fought Skolex, they like took that motherfucker out of the game. Like, he's, it's making it too easy for everybody. So Conquest is shitty because, you know, of every reason in the book. The item that he gives you is bad. I'm gonna have to use my other full health pill here. It means I should have saved the other one and not used it, probably. Um, yeah, the item he gives you is bad. I got stuck on a rock there. Uh, he's very difficult to not take damage against. And he sucks and I hate him. And those, those are all the valuable reasons, I think, for Conquest being a big piece of shit. So, uh, he's taken like seven hearts off of me, and he gives me the white pony. Fantastic, right? The good news is, um, we may have a chance to reroll the white pony. I'm not 100% sure about it, but there may be an opportunity to reroll white pony, because he's the first boss out of two. Normally, you don't get a chance to do that, but um, because there is a second boss that pulls from a different pool, maybe there is, but Mom's heart doesn't really pull from a pool. She doesn't give you any item, so... 
I don't know where we're gonna be with this one, basically. We're gonna see where we are. Our DPS, when we're actually able to, like, keep fire on, is really, really good. We're gonna be so fucked when it comes to dodging against Isaac if we make it that far. I've thrown a lot on this run, but, uh, we still could have a chance. The Chariot is good. It's a good card. Alright, so we pick up the White Pony, put it back down, and re-roll it. And we get a range upgrade. Good! Alright, so... Glad I went through all that. Um, yeah, truth be told, a range upgrade is not the worst upgrade in the world for us. We can at least stand a little bit further away and do damage, but it's not the best upgrade in the world for us either, as you can probably tell. Now, four bombs. Probably not going to find the boss room up here, but it is possible. Three more cents. Money equals power would be a huge play. The chariot is obviously my my ace in the hole. I'm not just saying that because it's a card, but it's, it's my ace in the hole for the Isaac fight. Uh, and if we live, then maybe on the, the chest, I'll be able to get some items that will make me more conceivable to beat Blue Baby. It's been a little while since we've had a successful Blue Baby run. And, uh, you know, I, I had been in pretty good form up until I came back from Miami, so... To be in this kind of position where I'm having a lot of trouble doesn't feel as good as it used to. It feels alien a little bit. Like, 1979 alien. Not like I'm getting shot in the face, like, like aliens. Oh, this could be big. Or it could be, like, totally worthless. That's true. Um, I guess we go to the left one room, or we go down one room. And uh, it's extremely, extremely unlikely that we end up encountering Blue Baby. Or, sorry, well, it's extraordinarily unlikely we end up encountering Blue Baby. But it's extremely unlikely we end up encountering Isaac on one of these rooms. But it isn't outside of the realm of possibility. It's outside of the possibility to find him downwards. And it's outside of the possibility to find him left as well. Pretty funny, though, uh, because, you know, both rooms that we went to were like six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's okay. You attack me here, and I'll attack you here. You attack here, and I'll attack it here now, baby. You attack here, and I'll attack it here now, boo. I have completely lost maybe my mind. Okay. Um, I still think Cancer is probably better than Maggie's Faith. It's a decision that would have been a little bit more difficult to make earlier in this run. You know, if, if Maggie's Faith has the potential to give you 6 or 7 HP upgrades, or even 3 or 4, that becomes a, a viable uh, question, right? However, in this situation, Maggie's Faith is going to give us 1 HP, and it won't even give us full HP after it happens. If it did, I would probably take it, but it, it won't. So I can't, uh, and Cancer just, like, doubles our damage output, so I have to roll with it. Mind you, we're uh, very, very near to death, and... I expect that we will probably come to embrace the, the cold hand of uh, Beelzebub very soon. I guess Beelzebub isn't the god of death. He's like the prince of darkness. Commonly, commonly misheld perception. Anyway. Uh, it would have been awesome if one of those was a, a red heart. I'm not even picky at this point. I don't need HP upgrades. Oh, we're one hit away from death. I don't need HP upgrades. I just need, like, red hearts to get me through the day, man. Like... I'm not trying to build a Scarface-like Coke empire anymore. I'm just trying to get my fix, you know? Is this the room that kills us? It theoretically could be. It's been fun, guys. I I apologize for this not being a universal item pools run. Oh, never mind. We lived. That was uh, a little bit premature. Curse room is probably something I'm not going to... Oh, there we go. All right. So we should probably take out the bomb flies first because uh, they're going to be what kills me in all likelihood. Don't die to the angel fetuses. Oh, my God. Okay. That was very close. Don't die to the angel pieces. That's the important part. I could choose to kill myself on that curse room if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm extremely tempted to use the chariot card here just to survive. But for whatever reason, I hold out this hope that I may actually have a legitimate chance of using this, this chariot card against Isaac. And somehow pulling out like a miraculous victory on this run. All I need is one fucking reroll. Oh, I had the onk. I totally forgot. Okay. Um, this is still pretty messed up. Uh... We're still in an, in an absolutely god-awful position. That's obvious, I think, at this point. Uh, at least we can come in here and, and take out one of these guys. Uh, yeah, like, we're still totally fucked. Oh, at least live through the super greed fight, you dumb anus. Uh, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Nope, oh, that was close. Probably gonna die. Oh my god, I made it. Okay, I lived. Now, oh, okay. This could be big. The golden key, that's gonna change everything. Alright, here we go. Chariot card. Get a little damage, then chariot, because otherwise you'll die in two seconds. Here we go. This is doing uh, quite a number on him. How about in, in uh, Rebirth, they change the chariot and uh, the unicorn horn so it does more damage if you, like, take a running start at running into them. 
admit it, you think that's a pretty cool idea. All right. If I make it through the first phase of the fight, then I'll be uh, living some kind of alternate history because we have died before I could even finish my sentence. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was kind of a weird one, but I had a fun time with it regardless. Hope it didn't question your sanity too much. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.